Our brains love to learn new things, especially if we can learn new facts in a really great nonfiction book. But nonfiction authors know something. They know that they can't give you facts that look like this. Ah! Where do I even look? Uh, where do I even start? Uh, what do all these facts have to do with each other? My brains are getting fried! Nonfiction authors know a secret about your brain. No, not that kind of secret. This kind of a secret. Nonfiction authors know that they can organize their facts to help your brain. They call these text structures. A text structure is a way that a nonfiction author organizes their facts to help your brain. One example of a text structure is called description text structure. Remember all of those facts that were not organized? Ah! Soft and buttery, bubbles and pockets, gooey delight, satisfying sound, crispiness? An author can organize those facts to help your brain. Description text structure. If you've never had a thick crust pizza, you've been missing out. When you bite into thick crust pizza, it makes a satisfying sound as you break through the outside crispiness of the crust. The inside of a thick crust is soft and buttery. Sometimes there are bubbles and pockets where sweet tomato sauce can hide. A thick crust can hold more toppings, so be ready for a ton of stringy hot cheese. Oh, that's what these facts were all about. Yep, so the author decided that they were going to organize the facts using description. So the author first created a web. This author decided to put thick crust pizza in the center of the web. And then the author described that thick crust as many ways that they, as they possibly could. What does the thick crust look like? What does the thick crust sound like, smell like, taste like, feel like, and other facts having to do with thick crusts. And then, after the author created this web, then they used the facts to make it look like this. All about thick crust. Okay, so is this the only way that an author can organize facts? Nope. Let's go back to all of those facts. There's other ways you can do it. Let's say an author wanted to use this way instead. This is called sequential order. Hmm. An author would first take all the facts and figure out a way that they would go in order. A one, two, three, four, five, six order. And then teach your brain that way. What would that look like? Here we go. Sure, you can order a thin crust pizza or beg your great aunt, great aunt Millie to make you her famous thick crust pizza. However, another way to get the pizza you want is to make your own pizza. It's so easy that even kids can do it. First, you buy a special kind of bread called flat bread. Then, you pour on the sweet red tomato sauce. After that, you sprinkle on food such as crunchy green peppers spicy pepperoni slices, and tangy mozzarella cheese. Finally, you bake the pizza in the oven until the cheese begins, or begins to bubble in a gooey delight. See? It's those same facts, only this time the author decided to teach you those facts in a specific order. It's so good for your brain. Did you catch on some of the order words? First, then, after that, Finally, hmm, what other ways could an author organize all that pizza, all those pizza facts? Well, lots of different ways. Let's just look at one more. Let's look at compare and contrast. So an author could take two different parts of the pizza topic and compare them together. 
For example, if the author wanted to teach you a bunch of facts, they could say, hmm, I'm going to do thin crust versus thick crust, and that's how I'm going to teach the facts. Again, remember all those facts? Oh! Let's organize them into compare and contrast. Is thin crust or thick crust pizza better? Thin crust can be rolled out into a huge pizza and cut into small squares. This makes it perfect for parties. It doesn't hold a lot of toppings, so you can easily walk around with it. Thick crust pizza is so thick, it can hold a ton of stringy hot cheese and loads of spicy pepperoni. This makes it a perfect choice for if you're super hungry. Thick crust can be messy, so you will want a plate to hold your piece of gooey delight. Hey! It's the same facts, only this time the author decided that they wanted to teach it using a compare and contrast order. Remember, nonfiction authors are there to help. No, not that kind of help. This kind of help, using text structures to organize the facts because they know it is best for your brain. Oh.